I do business tonight. The first item of discussion of selling uh, tax sale property. We have uh, we have two pieces of property that we bought from the county at tax sale. In other words, protect our interest. We paid the taxes on the property and, and it's now the property of the city. We have uh, family that's interested in one of these pieces of property and uh, the Kenny family here tonight. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> but anyhow, this is sort of uh, something that we haven't done in a long time. So we've researched it, we've had our attorney go through it. If you would, uh, just on a few prayers the situation, tell us what's going on. Absolutely. The, uh, uh, having acquired a piece of property uh, like this, the city is free to dispose of it uh, really in any way that you see fit as long as you get fair market value for it. And I requested an opinion from MTAS, from legal counsel of MTAS this week. And I think maybe, did you furnish a copy of the email where I got back from them? And there's a Supreme Court case from 1978 that describes the process that, that a city can go through. And uh, pretty much we're free to do what we want to with it. Is, uh, if we sold it below fair market value, we can even do that. But you have to justify a public interest in selling it for below the fair market value. But we're free to sell it to an individual. We're free to sell it uh, to a real estate agent if we wanted to do that. Uh, or we can sell it at a, at a public or private auction if we wanted to do that. So uh, the city has got broad authority to, do, to dispose of property as they see fit, have provided that you do it in accordance with the charter. The charter is really what gives the city council and the mayor all of its authority to operate. And the charter for our, our charter for the city of Bolivar specifies that the city council has to approve uh, all uh, acquisitions or sales or, disp or dispositions of any real property, or any kind of property really for that matter. So um, tonight, I believe, uh, and I think um, Sheila knows all the details about the Purchaser, I believe it is the uh, Ms. McKinney. I believe is related to the to the original owner of it, who was who had the property, and so she's made an offer to purchase it. And uh, so uh, we have uh, we've computed what our uh, what all of our current expenses are, what we paid at the at the tax sale for it, uh, and we're authorized to collect 10% per annum uh, interest or penalty or fee, whatever you want to call it, on there from the time that we acquired it. And I think. People's figured that up as well. Um, and then we can require that the taxes also be paid current. They be paid up to date uh, on, on the piece of property. So it's so we what our what our object is, what the city's object is, is to get it back on the tax rolls as a viable tax producing piece of property. So uh, that's where we are um, and we're we're but we need council approval. We need a motion and, and approval tonight to be able to, to authorize the sale to What's what is it? How much did you talk about? Sure. Did you talk about yeah. Everybody had this piece of paper, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I don't have that one. Right. This piece of property is two actually two pieces, two parcels of property. And uh, one of them we bought back at uh, one thousand nine hundred and fifty nine dollars eleven cents, the other one five hundred and nineteen dollars twenty cents total of $2,478.37. So it's 10% on top of that, our fee for, for <coughs> handling and, and doing what we've got makes the total of this piece of property $2,726.21. I think it was after this one property. Is that right? You're yeah. saying? But this you, 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 something uh it would be the two thousand and some dollars it would to be sell a, back to them if they would wish to is that correct it'd be two thousand seven hundred and twenty six dollars and twenty one cents two thousand seven hundred twenty six dollars and twenty one cents twenty one cents so we sell that back to, to the uh, owner well I think it was a mother's house and uh there's a certain days that the ordinance said that we may have to pay it If, if we decide 
if they decide to, they want to purchase that property, <coughs> is there a ordinance now on books? No. Whereas do we set a that they have time to pay that two thousand back? It's no. up to the board to determine the, the what, what they know. Okay. The the city is the owner of the property and uh, and, and you're free to sell it whenever whenever you want to. Now what, what the transaction needs to be is cash in exchange or you know check in exchange for the deed. So when they when the money is brought in, the taxes are paid current, the check is delivered, then they get a deed. Check the money on. Check the money on. Yeah. 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 It's our currency. These will be currency. Okay. I guess what you're saying, Mr. Kenny, is we, what we need <coughs> we need to establish, yes, we want to sell it, and then y'all need to buy the property. Of course, we don't have to have it tonight. No. You know, we, we can set up and wait on it. Yeah. If, you, if right. you approve the sale of it for, for that amount of money. We can approve money. the sale of it to me. Yeah. And when, when do we start doing this again? Because I, I, if I'm, I'm, you know, if I'm remembering right, you know, I, I hope we're not picking and choosing the houses that we are supposed to get and the one that we don't supposed to get. Because I understand that I got uh, certain individuals their property was uh, taxes was behind, and we didn't do anything to that one. But all of a sudden, we uh, tried to uh, take somebody else's house. Now, me, you know, I get in trouble, which that's fine and dandy. But I believe right is right and wrong is wrong. That's the way I was raised. Uh, so I don't want us to pick and choose a house that we're going to see uh, take possession of. And then, you know. And then, like this case, uh, uh, we go ahead and take take their house. I, I do not want the city to do that. Please don't, because I do know an individual where his property was down. We didn't do that. Uh, so, please, don't 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 do that because that can get that can get us in a lawsuit, and uh, and we don't want to be in doubt. So if they uh, here, they are here. Maybe, maybe you need to go through the full code. Uh, I mean the uh, tax sale. Okay, I'm sure, Mr. Mayor. I'm not doing yet. Well, I don't think you know what you're talking about. Well, I, if you want me to name names, now I can. Well, I don't really, want to name names, but, but you know, this, I can. I'm trying to be professional here. But if you want me to get down, you know, this I is can not, be this is not the first time it's ever but, been done. Uh, the only one here. I know was the uh, 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 came before the council. The only one I know is Chris, uh, Miss Craig's house. That's not, I've been here eight years. And this, there's two houses. That's the Chris down here on Jackson and the one you're talking about now. That's two. Now, I do know that. And I've been here eight years. So, I'm just saying this. The, the, county, the county is the one that sells this a tax sale. We're not selling anybody out. We bought this. This is a county. Is that correct, Steve? I got that. I'm not yeah. stupid, Mr. Manager. Don't, don't, I don't, don't pay my integrity now. Don't pay my like integrity. We're out here foreclosing on people's property. I didn't say it. If you think you're a white lot of love, man, if you want me to tell it in, I'll tell you when it went. Like I said, I'm trying to be professional, Mr. Well, well, like you don't want me to be that. professional now. You're, you're I don't want to do that. what you're talking about. You well, be professional about it. Well, when Jimmy Slane property was uh, delinquent, we didn't do anything. This county didn't do anything about that. We didn't buy that land out there. Now, if you want to be the county, you know, the county, county didn't do that. So, uh, well, if they want to buy the property, then I'll talk to you. I, I skipped that. I'll talk to you. Uh, if they want to buy the property tonight, in uh, request that they be, because they came here to do permit to buy it back. All right. If, can the council make, do something tonight rather than what he was talking about? Well, what? What the council needs to do to be able to sell it to Ms. McKinney is to simply authorize the sale That's tonight right. is to vote to authorize the sale first? for the amount of money right. that's been determined, which okay. is just is just what the city has got in it. Gotcha. And then it can then a deed can be delivered when the money is brought in. Deed, check, money order, whatever, gotcha. as long as it's, you know, yeah. legal right. tender, then then the deed will be delivered to him. I've already got the deed drawn up. Okay, but it's no certain time, but we have to put it, don't you think we need to put a time limit on it for them to, to pay it if they decide to do that? Because after that, then it looks like we need to put it up on You're free to, if you want to, you're free to do that. If you want to say it'd be done in 30 days or whatever, that's fine. Usually the sales, uh, if you make an offer, they give you 10 days to come up with the balance of the money. Usually, they're 10% down, and then 10 days come up with the balance. And we can do it that way, uh, any other way that uh, Mr. Orange would think we should do. Uh, my question is, uh, Mr. Mayor, is uh, now, is that 2700 tax?
finances and everything. Then what is owed to the city right now. That's what I'm looking at. That brings yeah. taxes current. Is that what you're asking? Uh -huh. That would be taxes. Right. The 2014, according to this, taxes are prorated, which I guess through this month. Is that correct, Chief? Okay. All right. That's all right. Taxes are included in that. <coughs> they are prorated. I don't have a problem with us selling it back at all. I just want to make sure we go through the proper procedure and we do it exactly the way we're supposed to do it. That's what I'm trying to make sure we I want to discuss the allegation that we're doing ones and twos and taking property that is nothing whatsoever truthful in that allegation. Are you asking me? No. Because that's, that's what's been, that's what Mr. Kenny has implied that we we only do this, uh, it's the county that does this. Was well, that city? Well, it's not bad property, though. Yeah, so we bought it. We've we determined that we buy the property. We don't have to buy it if we don't want it. Property so within the city. So everything is in the well, city. Well, if, if, if you don't, well, the thing about it is, uh, and if you don't buy, if you don't bid it in, the city doesn't bid it in at the tax sale when, when it's sold through the court as part of the tax delinquent sale, delinquent tax sale process, then you run the risk of losing your sales tax, you know, the, the money that's accrued or your property taxes that you had on there. So if you, if it's like you've got an interest in that, if you don't bid it in, then you lose it. Now, if somebody else is up there bidding against you, and they bid more than what what our taxes would be, then that's fine. Right. Let and them get them buy, and then we get our money back. back. That's a, that's. A, but this this was bought at a regular tax sale that's held every year. You know, our taxes here we go in with the county, and y'all see it in the newspaper when they got the tax sale listed, where there's a list of all the delinquent property tax owners and all the pieces of property. That's done every year. And, and then when the taxes, the tax sale is held, then anybody is free to go bid on it. And we did. And so we bid on three pieces of property, and we got those three. We got, then you have to wait a year because there's a period of redemption. They got the right to come in and, and buy it back for what was paid. So that year has gone by, and then we got a deed from uh, Janice Bodford, clerk and master, change record approved by the chancellor, recorded in the, in the register's office. So now we're the owner of it. We, we own this piece of property. And, and it's up to the side of the property in the city. Yeah, it's all right. Mm -hmm. And yeah. just so happened nobody else bid it on. Or did we want to bid on it? That's right. No. See, we, we, <coughs> we didn't, we didn't right. go and right. bid. It was not bid on. They asked us if we wanted to bid. Dave, was there another email that gave a statute on this? Do you know? Did they, did they give a statute mm -hmm. that, I wish they had stated it. That, that case, though, describes the, you know, the whole, there's a whole statutory scheme about how all that's done. But the city is pretty that's much. My only, that's my only thing is yeah. that we go through the procedure. I mean, it's fine to sell it back to them. I don't have a problem with that at all. It's just I want to make sure that we go through the proper channels and get it right. That's so, uh, well, I guess, are, are y'all prepared to buy the property? Yes, sir. I would like to. Yeah. And, but I need time. And I need. Yes, yes, okay. do this, please. I'm so I am Tracy McKinney. I'm the daughter of Meg and George McKinney. I'm on the, here on behalf of them because both of them have deceased. And the property been in our land, been in our process for over, um, I'm 46. And I know we moved there when I was born. And uh, this is a family home. And I came, uh, financial hardship, I come pay the tax. And uh, then it came down to this, and um, I need a little time to pay the money to get the land back in the McKinney name, because it is a family house, and that's where our family can come home, and because my mom and daddy worked hard for that. 50 cents and a dollar back in them days was nothing. Now we're talking about 2000 That's a whole lot of money. And back in those days, my mom and daddy would have been rich, but I'm asking, if you sell the land back to me, take the 